Hey everyone, it's Queenie here, Queenie Dear Heart. This is Jimmy Chang of the Fox's channel. That's Jimmy there. I was supposed to do some, some lip syncing with him today. That's Pepper the dog, by the way. Um, I was going to do some lip syncing with him today. Hotel California, Stroke, um, I Have the Tiger mashup. And I still may do that. I still may do that, but I need to talk to you now about something a bit more serious. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a fun, lovely, fun channel. And I'm going to have the fun happy music on the background because I'm weird like that. But I actually want to talk to you today about mental health and specifically um, secondary trauma. And it's triggered by something that Hey Odemo just literally put up on his YouTube there, I think. I'm going to put it there. Um, he did a video on how depression feels. He suffers from depression. Um, you may also know Hey Odemo as Blue the Dragon, or as he likes to call it, fucking Blue the Dragon. Um, he's a dancer, he's a YouTuber, very popular, um, he got away with words, sometimes with lots of cursing involved, which is fine, cool man, that's cool, and I agree with a lot of the stuff he says and disagree with some of the stuff he says, and that's totally okay, because it would be really freaking boring if I didn't agree with every, if I agreed with everything he said, so whatever. Um, but he did a really, I mean, it moved me, uh, talking about a video, talking about how depression feels, and, um, Damn, made me cry. So I wanted to talk to you now about secondary trauma, which is something that I've suffered from. Secondary trauma has caused me to be depressed. Caused me to be really down, like super down. Um, pit of my stomach. Why am I still alive? Down. Um, I'm talking about this now because I feel in a position where I'm empowered to talk about it and also because this guy and the furry community have helped me get through the last eight months really seriously I mean I've been a fur for many many years but the last eight months have been really super tough um, and they've been tough because I've suffered from secondary trauma secondary trauma is what you get when you have someone that you care for whether it be a child or another adult who has gone through a traumatic experience and you end up reliving their traumatic experiences either through hearing what happened to them and helping them through it, so, you know, through counselling or therapy, or by them trying to recreate or relive these traumatic experiences and make those traumatic experiences normal, which is what's happened to me. Um, very often that that comes with violence or it comes with um, certainly verbal aggression can often put you in a mental place where you don't want to be, where you feel that the world is against you and that you are a bad person and you start to go just a little bit crazy and you start to wonder, am I the person to blame here? Is What's going on? My fault. And you... You start to believe the crazy that other people are telling you or that this one person who is subjecting you to secondary trauma or causing secondary trauma in you. You start to believe some of the things they're saying. You start to wonder if you are a good person if you are, you know, if you caused them to suffer, um, if you are somehow flawed or broken or, in my case, not a good mother, which is really freaking scary, frankly. Um, but anyway, Secondary trauma is something that affects caregivers, um, hospital staff, first responders, medical professionals, police, fire, anybody who's in a position where they go into traumatic experiences on a regular basis and have to relive those traumatic experiences through, well, relive the traumatic experiences of other people or see those trauma experiences. So we're the ones who look after the people with post-traumatic stress disorder. We're the ones who have to deal with the crazy shit 
the crazy shit that you would normally go and talk to a therapist for, but as a secondary secondary trauma sufferer, you kind of feel that you should be able to cope with it or you should be able to solve it because you didn't actually said you didn't actually suffer that yourself. You're getting it by proxy. And all you want to do if you're me, certainly, all you want to do is stop that trauma from going on. And you end up bottling it all up inside you and not wanting to let it go. Because if you let it go, then it will hurt and damage other people. And it can destroy your soul. It can destroy your self-worth and it can make you feel like shit. And when you feel really strong on the outside, Sometimes you feel really fragile on the inside, and sometimes when you're pretending that you're really strong on the outside, you are screaming inside. Like, you just want the whole world to stop. Um, for me, with secondary trauma, sometimes it feels like all I want the world to do is to stop. I want to cut off all the noise. I want to cut off everything. Um, my only salvation, often, in the last few months has been to put on a tail and put his head on and become him for 10 minutes for a video to keep people on YouTube smiling and happy. And so if you know someone who's suffering from secondary trauma or you know someone who's suffering from depression, they are different things. I have suffered both this year. Knowing that there are people who care about you is enough sometimes to make a difference. Having a quiet hug is enough, at least for me, and makes a massive world of difference. Knowing that people are there thinking, trying to lessen your pain is enough. Um, so you go watch Hey Demo's video because it's it's fucking awesome, and <laughs> a lot of what he said applies to secondary trauma too. So I'm not going to carry on now. I'm going to stop because this is a really long video, and I don't want to talk any further about it and be all kind of Bleh. so. I may not even post it. I might just do that lip sync. Ha <laughs> ha. You'll just have to wait and see.